Uh, we're going to do a simulated horsepower run in the SS mode uh, uh, here in the studio. And um, a couple of things you want to know about, uh, you, you want to make sure you do correctly in the horsepower and torque pull is that uh, uh, this particular measurement is very different than your acceleration run. And it's important to keep that in mind because you want to be very smooth. The, the key to consistent horsepower and torque measurements is actually uh, being smooth and making sure that you're applying full throttle throughout the entire RPM range. That's critical. Uh, avoiding wheel spin is also important. Uh, to get good RPM measurement and so on. So um, when you're in a safe environment, you're driving along in the second gear, uh, you hold it at close to 2,000 RPM, and then you uh, push the horsepower and torque measurement, and it'll, uh, it'll um, uh, display this uh, graph to tell you to hold at 2,000 RPM. When you're at uh, 2,000 RPM, you will simply push the button. You're, you take your time to adjust to make sure that you're at 2,000 RPM. When you are, you push the button, and it'll, it'll start, uh, start the measurement. You apply the throttle slowly. Take about a couple of seconds, especially some of these powerful cars. They'll start wheel spinning in second gear, and it's important to apply the throttle slowly, and then after a couple of seconds, hold it at full throttle all the way to red line. And then once you reach the red line, you can ease off and the GTEC will stop the measurement like it did just now. Once that's done, you'll get the horsepower and torque in most important uh, numbers, which are the peak horsepower and peak torque at, at what RPM level, and that's shown on this result screen here. If we want to go in deeper and look at the actual dyno plot, we will go in here and look at the graph. Uh, the yellow line represents the torque, and the white line represents the horsepower. Uh, the blue crosses represent the peak numbers. You can take the cursor here and look at the numbers as you go along. Uh, there's your peak horsepower, uh, peak torque of 154.3 foot-pounds. And if you go down here, there's your peak horsepower of uh, uh, 151.9 horsepower. You will also notice that the uh, horsepower and torque curves cross at 52, uh, 5250 RPM. And um, that's your horsepower and torque graph. And here's your uh, help screen as well that shows you um, uh, some more information about this. And there's your uh, dyno plot. It beats uh, going to a chassis dyno every time and spending a couple hundred bucks each time you go there. So uh, key elements are make sure, key things about uh, GTEC uh, horsepower and torque pulls is to be consistent and make sure you have full throttle and make sure to do several runs to get it, to get to the point where the difference between your runs is only a couple of, couple of horsepower. Then you know that you're doing your horsepower measurements consistently. It takes a few times to do this properly for any car, for anybody. Even for me, who I've been doing this for years, it still takes me uh, a few runs to get these numbers consistent. So uh, make sure you average your results and be consistent and be smooth in the measurements of horsepower and torque.